Wonder why everyone's so interested in Copenhagen all of a sudden? This December, representatives from more than 190 countries from around the world have been invited to the United Nations Climate Change Conference, aka COP15. Loads of people will be there, from Joe Bloggs to Obama. Everyone who knows that we need to get this climate change thing sorted. There are going to be many meetings and talks to work out what part each country must play to stop climate change in the future. We have produced so much greenhouse gas emissions already that there are some things we can't change, but we can stop making it even worse. We don't note it so much because we're in a wealthy country, but elsewhere farmers who have planted their seeds and harvested the crops at the same time every year just don't know when the rain will come or when it'll end. Millions of people have already had to leave their homes. So what are we hoping for? We're hoping that the world leaders pledge to make big, big changes to the way their countries live and work. We all need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and we need to decide by how much and who does the reducing. This needs to be done by using more green technology. People are already being affected by climate change. Some countries more than others and they're going to need to adapt. The problem is that many of the countries that are being and are going to be the worst affected are amongst the poorest countries on the earth. Often countries who don't produce nearly as much greenhouse gas emissions as we do. The EU needs to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by 40% by 2020 and by 80% by 2050. We need to share, develop and expand our knowledge of green technology. That means sharing information between the developed and the developing world. We also want to see the end of deforestation. There also needs to be a legal framework that recognises and protects people forced from their homes because of the effects of climate change. So if you're thinking, I know what COP15 is, but it'll be over before I've done anything, you're wrong. Basic agreements will be made this December, but we have to keep up the pressure on our governments to listen to us and make serious commitments. This may well be the most important meeting on earth in all of history, because essentially we're mapping our future. So make sure you keep watching updates on what's happening in Copenhagen this December. Go to the EJF website and write your own letter to show your support for urgent and ambitious action at the COP15. And also, have a look to see what you can do to play your part. By making small changes, you can make a big difference. And we have all sorts of tips on our website.